Look, cause I'm gonna keep it a hundred percent honest with y'all. Like I'm gonna give y'all the real tea. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Nikki and this is Life with Nick. If you are new here, I do videos on lifestyle, business, and fashion. So today, as you guys can see, I'm back with another Atlanta video. Um, I feel like this was extremely popular on my channel. Um, one of the only popular videos that I've had so far, but it's cool. I'm not tripping. But seriously, I'm here with another Atlanta video. Um, you know, for those who do not know, I have been living in Atlanta for almost two years now. Um, and there's definitely been a lot of up and downs with me becoming stable I feel like I'm just now getting to the place of where I'm officially stable and I'm officially in a place of comfort so I'm just here to give you guys some tips if you are someone who is considering moving to Atlanta just to let you guys know the real and I'm, I'm about to give y'all the real like I'm about to really give y'all some tea okay because I, I know people out there I know y'all need to hear the truth and I'm about to keep it real with y'all okay I'm going to tell you exactly what you need to hear so Today I have five different things. This is part two of my last video. Um, if you guys have not seen that, I'll leave it in the description box below and then I'll leave like a little video here. But I have five different tips on what you need to consider before you move to Atlanta. Let's go ahead and get into the video. So number one on the list is going to have to be, you have to consider whether or not Atlanta is a good place for you to live. And when I say you, I mean you. Um, I think that people think that just because Atlanta is such a big place and it's become so big, that's why people call it the Black Hollywood. There's so much to do, so much to see. There's so much opportunity. The nightlife is amazing. Um, almost like no, no other state I've ever seen, honestly. But you have to consider whether or not it is something that you want to do in order for you to be happy. Because moving away from your hometown is never easy. Um, and some things that you need to consider is whether or not you're someone who can live away from your family are you going to be someone who's always homesick um you know you have to understand that if you are living out of state then um you are going to miss a lot of holidays with your family a lot of birthdays um you, you're not going to be able to just get in your car and just drive back home so consider the fact that you are going to be away from your family um and you also have to consider the fact that you know someone in that state i think it's it's extremely important to wherever you move to that you at least know one person even if you don't you don't know that person um that well and you don't talk to that person that much just to always have that fallback because you never know what can happen people are crazy nowadays and you don't want to move to a completely different state without knowing anything or any someone around you any surroundings at all so make sure you at least know one person just because, you know, you don't want to just be in a state completely alone without absolutely anyone. So that's also something extremely important. And then make sure you're actually mentally ready to leave your family behind. I'm someone I did that. Um, I mean, I have my dad here, but the rest of my family who I'm extremely close to. Um, I do have my days where I'm like, oh, my gosh, should I move back home? I really miss my family. I have nephews who are extremely small and young. So it's, it does get rough, you know, not being able to see them grow up. So just remember that that is an, that is something that is going to happen and just consider whether or not you are someone who is strong enough to live away from your family um you also have to consider the fact that um success does not happen overnight here um i think that people before they move here they just think atlanta all new opportunity i'm just going to become famous i'm going to just run into a bunch of money just because i live in this state that is not how it goes there's maybe there's still bums who live here <laughs> i hate to say it but there is you have to work just as hard here as you do in your hometown if you really want to be successful um just don't be too hard on yourself and just assume that when you move here and you don't have it all completely together that you're a bad person you just have to remember that it's not going to happen overnight you're going to have to get a job you're going to have to start from somewhere just like how you would in any other state it's literally the same as living anywhere else you just have to work really hard to get where you want to be so understand that success is not going to happen overnight so let's go ahead and move on to step two so step two is going to be something that i just mentioned in step one would be finding a decent job so i'm going to say this because this is something that i do personally indeed is going to be your best friend okay go on indeed okay like if you have not done that before look i n d e e d go to indeed.com okay because indeed is going to be your best friend whether or not you are looking for something in your field and you know exactly what you want to do 
Indeed is good for you. If you don't have an idea of what you want to do, hop on Indeed. You know, there's so many jobs in Atlanta, whether you're working in a factory, if you're working in fast food, if you're working in retail, hop on Indeed and find yourself a job because you're going to need it. Make sure that you have the means to look for a job. So make sure that you're able to get to those interviews. Make sure that you have some supportive people around you. If you are someone who drives, who are able to drive you and make sure that um, you are taking those those things serious because you don't want to be here broke honestly being here broke is such a tease like just being here broke is just like just watching from the side lines. like because trust me i've been there i'm gonna be honest with you you don't want to be broke here find a job baby girl find a job which brings us to step three which is going to be finding yourself an apartment look let me give y'all some advice over here i'm about to put y'all on Okay, some cities that you want to consider when you are looking for an apartment here, an affordable, I have it written down, an affordable apartment is going to be Stone Mountain, Lawrenceville, Sandy Springs, and Decatur. Um, look, and if you can't afford any of these rents that I'm about to tell y'all by yourself, look at a, look at, on roommates.com and you will be able to find a roommate. Um, I know a lot of people who do that. Most of my friends, most of my colleagues, they all have roommates. Um, not everyone is able to afford the rent down here. And honestly, depending on where you come from, the rent in Atlanta can be extremely expensive. If you're someone who's moving from California or New York, it may not be because California and New York rent is like $1,700 and up for a one bedroom. So coming here and you're seeing the rent. $1,100 or $1,000 for a one bedroom may not be that bad to you. But if you're someone who's moving from up north, you're used to like me, I'm used to like $700, $800 rent. And so when I got down here, it was a shocker to have to pay $1,000 a month. So just keep in mind that is something um, wherever you move, it, it, whether it be some Mountain Decatur, Buckhead or Buckhead, whatever you, you are going to move, more than likely if you're in a decent area, you have to pay $1,000 or up. The, the least that you're going to have to pay is $1,000. Do not look in. If you are someone who's moving here and you're still trying to get on your feet, do not look into Buckhead. I'm going to be honest with you. Um, look into Buckhead if you have money. Don't look into Buckhead if you barely have a savings account because Buckhead is expensive. If you're trying to move to Buckhead, you're going to be paying like $1,600 a month for a one bedroom. Who wants to do that? you know and and that's just starting off if you look in certain apartments you're going to be looking at twenty two hundred dollars for a one bedroom and some people are able to do that and i'm not saying that you're not going to ever be able to do it just don't rush don't rush it make that your goal be like hey maybe once i save this much i can move to bucket maybe if i'm able to do this much i can move to bucket but don't don't feel like just because you're moving here and you cannot move to bucket that you are not succeeding because that is not the case um georgia still has a lot of other amazing cities that are just as nice as Buckhead but a little bit more affordable okay so when you are looking for an apartment as well you have to consider the fact that a lot of your utilities are not going to be included I know when I live in Ohio um, a lot of the places that I moved to cable which were dorm places but in college apartments but um you have to consider the fact that power georgia power is a thing georgia power is something nine times out of ten if you are renting an apartment you're going to have to use and that's basically paying for your apartment your apartment's power is going to be like lights um so that you can use cable internet washer dryer um and you're going to make sure that you can use your refrigerator basically all, all the power is what you're going to have to pay and you are going to have to pay that monthly so you want to make sure that you are watching how much you use your power because you do not want to be like me look when I first moved out on my own down here and I got that $200 power bill, I was like, bro, bro, I didn't know what to do. But make sure that that is something that you consider. The fact that you have to pay your own power. A lot of apartments that you move to, they will cover your water and sewer, which is petty because that's like the cheapest bill possible. But just consider the fact that you are going to have to pay your power. Another bill that you are going to have to pay is going to be your um, Wi-Fi bill. And then you, a lot of apartments down here do not come with a washer and dryer installation. So you have to make sure that you do have money aside so that you are able to go wash and dry. And then if you do have a washer and dryer installation, like in my actual apartment complex, I have a washer and dryer in my unit, but that is another bill that I have to pay separately to the washer and dryer people every month. So you want to make sure that you know that, that you're going to have to pay your power, you're going to have to pay your Wi-Fi, you're going to have to pay your washer and dryer. So all of those expenses will come in within you getting an apartment here in Georgia. So let's go ahead and move on to number four. Okay, so number four, which is should have been number one, because honestly, this is the most frustrating thing. Look, 
do not me move to Georgia if you do not have a means of transportation. I'm telling you, you're going to regret it. Georgia is so big. And regardless of if you do live in the same city as your job, there's so much to see and so much to do. Um, and if you are not someone who has your own means of transportation, Lyft, Uber is an option. But you have to understand that this is something that you're going to have to spend hundreds of dollars on just because, like I said before, Georgia is so big. So, for example, if you live in Decatur, and you want to go, um, you know, to Griffin, which is like the South South. Like if you from here, you know, like the dirty South. But if you want to go to Griffin, you're going to be paying like a hundred dollars off rip just to go to Griffin if you want to go see your family or whatever. So make sure you have that means of transportation, even if it's not just you, but someone who you know who supports you and who is there for you on the transportation side. Just have that so that you can actually live the full Georgia experience. You don't want to come here and you're stuck in the house all the time because if that's the case, maybe you should have just stayed where you was. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to be, I'm going to keep it three stacks with you, Kim folk. You could have just stayed where you was instead of moving here. But yeah, make sure you have that means of transportation so that you don't have to depend on Lyft, Uber. All of that stuff is really expensive. Trust me, I know I did not get my license until I was 22. And honestly, I'm starting to think about it. They really, they really finessed me out of all that money. But make sure you have that means of transportation so you can live the full Georgia experience, okay? So we're going to move on to the last and final step, step number five. So step number five is going to be go to the grocery store. I don't know what that was, but go to the grocery store. Well, I'm going to say this. Look, okay. I'm sure if you've, um, if you're subscribed to me, you're going to see the weight, the weight gain difference. Um, some may see it. Some may not. Some people never notice it. Some people do. But since I moved down here, um, I've gained 40 pounds. And the reason for that is because Georgia food is so damn good. Okay. Like, look, I'll be over here smashing on collard greens, mashed potatoes homemade lemonade look i look i'll be smashing it's and it's so tempting because there's so much it whether you love seafood soul food taco dude they like you gonna be spending some money so don't be that person that spend hundreds of dollars a week eating out of food because it can get really tempting and the thing about georgia it's not even really about the food but it's about the experience so sometimes you can go out to eat and you'll give yourself a budget like hey i'm only going to spend 40 or 50 dollars and you will come out with a 120 dollar bill trust me and i've done that and that's just for me because you'll go out to these restaurants and the drinks are bomb. You get a little liquor in your system. And then you just look at your bill at the end of the day. And you're like, I just spent $200 on Taco Tuesday. And it's just not worth it. So make sure, I feel like wherever you live, though, you just need to go grocery shopping. For one, it's cheaper. For two, it's healthier. And for three, just go to the grocery store. I feel like it's just, especially since we're in COVID, don't be, don't be out here just kicking it with no mask on. Okay, but... Make sure um, you go to the grocery store and you're just keeping that healthy lifestyle. Um, make sure you meal prep. You know, if you are someone who has a busy schedule, it's so easy to get tied up down here, especially depending on how far your commute is from work. You're not always going to have the opportunity to cook. So just make sure that you know in advance what your meals are going to be. And by doing this, you have to go to the grocery store. So make sure you're staying active. You know what I mean? I Hopefully these steps um help somebody out i just wanted to be as honest as possible because when i moved down here personally i didn't really have anybody to tell me what it was going to be like i didn't have anybody to tell me how much rent was how many how much i would have to drive how good the food was no i kind of already knew how good the food was when i came to visit my dad but you know i didn't know any of those things but um i'm glad i know now and hopefully this brought some usage to someone out there you know hopefully you enjoyed this video Comment below any of the videos y'all like to see me do. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, okay? And I will see you guys next time.